I grinded keyboard and mouse for a week straight to see how much better I could really get. Just a little heads up, this isn't my first time playing keyboard and mouse like a lot of the other videos you guys have probably seen. Whenever I felt like playing the keys, I would play some PGs or free build, but it's been a while since I've done that. So without further ado, I present to you day number one. On day one, my main focus was to try and get comfortable on this input again. To do that, I started with trying to replicate retakes that I do on controller, and let's just say I didn't even come close. I felt clunky and not really in control of my movement. I decided I still wanted to play some 1v1s, that way I could practice using all my keybinds, but I must have been queuing at the wrong time because everyone I matched up against was a bot. This is when I came up with the brilliant idea of 1v1ing my friend Dala first to 10 on day 1 and day 7 to get a more concrete measurement of my skill from start to finish, and as you guys can tell, I got absolutely smacked. Normally when I'm on controller, him and I go back and forth, but this time the only kills I got on him felt really lucky. He ended up beating me 10 to 2, but one thing I did realize was that my aim was really, really bad and inconsistent. So I figured it was probably a good idea for me to invest in Kovacs. I dedicated an hour each day to Kovacs in order to improve my mouse control, which would then help with my aim and crosshair placement. Honestly, some of these drills were really difficult, and this was probably the most frustrating part of my 7-day grind. I decided to spend day 2 a little differently than the first, because my strategy was to put myself into as many different scenarios as possible in order to be fully comfortable. I I played an hour of Kovacs to start, but then I hopped straight into Crosshair Placement Map to Battle further improve my mouse right. control. I figured it was best to do these types of maps in the first couple days, and then do a majority of the fighting in the later days, just so I could build a solid foundation of my mechanics and aim to prevent creating bad habits and then working backwards trying to fix them. I really enjoyed this map because it shows you where you need to place your crosshair in order to make the edit. After this map, I queued into Raiders Mechanics Training, which is something that helped me improve a lot on controller. I freebuilt on slow mode for a bit, and then went to the aim training portion of the map. It was pretty frustrating seeing how bad my aim was, but I pushed through it and finally when I was finished, I had enough energy in me to play one more map, so I decided to work on my edit timing. I noticed while I was freebuilding that I kept accidentally clicking F, my edit key, after I tried to select the edit, causing me to mess up, so I grinded this for about 30 minutes to end the day. By day 3, I realized that even though I had done a bunch of different maps, I still had a lot of different areas I needed to work on. I hadn't even played a single real game yet, only creative maps, and there were still a lot of creative maps that I wanted to play, so I decided I would grind some Martos Turtle Wars to start the day. Believe it or not, for some reason I was having trouble resetting with Scroll Wheel. I think I would accidentally not scroll it enough, so it would grab the edit, but it wouldn't reset it. After over an hour of this map, I no longer had that issue, and I moved on to Forever Zone Wars. The goal with the maps I wanted to play was to try to get as much practice as possible in with as little downtime as possible. I didn't want to play ranked just yet just because I would probably spend a lot of the time in the lobby or just running around not really doing anything, whereas in these maps when you die, you can get right back into the fight. In my opinion, this is the best way to initially get practice on a new input. Even though the players in this lobby weren't very good, I was still feeling much better than the first day. But from playing these zone wars, I did realize that I felt awkward boxing up and having these more realistic fights where an opponent can shoot you from any angle. Day 4 was my biggest grind yet. I started with my daily hour of Kovacs, and then I played hours upon hours of PGs. I was really enjoying it, and I was facing opponents that were actually good and pushing me to the limits of my keyboard ability. I played so long that my fingers got sore because I wasn't used to playing keyboard for so long. But after a bit of a break, I was ready to game again. Oh my god! One thing I really recommend doing is to find somebody that you can grind with because for me that made all the difference in the world. Not one time did I ever get bored throughout the week, but I know for a fact that if I were to have played this game for the amount of time that I did by myself, I would have either been super bored and miserable or I would have just given up. It also helped that I really like PGs, so it kept me locked in and grinding. Whatever you guys like playing, I recommend grinding that so you don't get bored because I feel like that's the issue for a lot of people, which results in them giving up. After too many hours of PGs, I was feeling ambitious enough for some rank, but the common theme throughout each game that I played was that I'd get a few kills and then die with 10 or so players left, so I decided to end the night there. Just a little side note, at some point throughout each day I freebuilt for a good amount of time, I just didn't want to mention it every time because it would become annoying and repetitive. After my poor performance in rank the day before, I knew I had to practice something that felt more like a real match, so I queued into Reels PvP to start. I know I said this before, but just in case you guys missed it, the reason I'm not playing a ton of ranked in order to practice with that in-game fighting feel is because I would most likely spend a lot of time in the lobby or not actually fighting and improving on keyboard, and the goal is to get as good as possible in just one week's time. This means that I need to jam in as many reps as I can when I'm on the game, which is why I did Freel's PvP instead. 
As you guys can tell, I was becoming very comfortable on keyboard in such a short amount of time, but one thing I hadn't really done too much of was box fights, so I queued up in pretty much every box fight map that I could. At first, the top 6 edit was something that I struggled with a fair bit because it wasn't something that I had really practiced at all, but I practiced it so much in box fights because I was doing it pretty often, so eventually I got the hang of it. After all this, you know I had to end the day with some PGs, and luckily my friend Brookboy was down to play. Thank you, scrubby. <laughs> no, all he does is hold his pump down! <laughs> I'm going to game chat this kid. A quick 80 rounds later, and I was off for the night feeling good about the hours I put in that day. Once day 6 came around, I was feeling kinda tired from the 5 consecutive days of grinding that I'd put in, so I decided to take the day a little easy, and revisit some of the maps I started my grind on. I figured it couldn't hurt to essentially touch up on every aspect that I had been working on over the past 5 days. It would also show me how much I'd improved throughout that time as well, because I'd be able to feel how much easier some of the drills had become. Still, after everything I had done, the crosshair placement map was my favorite, with the editing while moving drill being a close second. By this point in my keyboard journey, I was feeling super comfortable and I was able to hit free builds like this. Dude, I love pranking with no headset on the keyboard, so I'm so nice. Like I said earlier, I wasn't going to put in crazy hours like the previous days, so I called it wraps after a bit more free building. Finally, day 7 was here at last. I was way more in control of my movement, as well as my mouse, but the real test was still in front of me. I needed a 1v1 Dala, a mechanical guru who has almost $2,000 earned on the game, as well as 35k subs on YouTube. I also needed to do better than I did on day 1 to prove that I actually got better. After a little bit of warm up, the first round was underway. <gasps> wow. Oh, stupid ramp flip. <gasps> oh. Just get bailed by your ramp flip. <laughs> You need another week. <laughs> okay. <gasps> yeah? Who's up damage now? Me. Who's up damage now? Me, after I kill you. <laughs> Break that! Okay. Don't know how that, that didn't work out. Does damage matter if you're the one who's dead? No, you're so lucky I had no ammo. Ugh. Oh, gonna reset. You sold. You sold. <laughs> if it wasn't already obvious, these rounds were lasting ages. So for the sake of time and not showing 30 minutes of PGs, we can go ahead and skip to when Dala and I were tied at 8. Yeah, no matter pieces are gonna work on me. <laughs> I was now up 9-8, needing just one more round to close it out. We were both 1 HP when I did this. Now if you've ever seen any of Dala's videos, you know that he's absolutely insane at the game, and you may be questioning how I was able to beat him. Well, his ping has been really bad the past couple days, and he's playing on 60 to 70 ping in creative. But being the good guy that he is, he didn't want to delay the 1v1, and he decided to thug it out and do his best. In all reality, if he were on his normal ping, he would have definitely won, but I still think I could have gotten a few rounds. Regardless, I know that I improved a ton in just a week. The amount of hours I put into keyboard is honestly pretty insane, and I wasn't expecting to improve at the rate that I did. But at a certain point, everything just became way more natural. Remember, it's not like this was my first time ever touching a keyboard, but it was the first time in a while, which is why I felt like my fingers just didn't know what to do on day one. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you made it this far into the video, comment WDALA to show him some support. Peace!